Hey guys, so Liz here, ProjectBandy.com. I'm going to speak a little bit of Tagalog, okay? Because I just want to change my YouTube up because I'm kind of feeling stiff and I'm not really able to share so much. So, ayan, Tagalog tayo ngayon. And tonight, I'm going to do a video wherein um, I'm just doing a look that I'm going to wear to a date with my boyfriend, James. Very simple lang, um, I think. Simple siya for me anyway. And um, I had fun doing it. So please do watch and tell me what you think. I will start with skincare since I haven't put any skincare on yet. Um, right now, I'm really trying out the Origins Original Skin Line. I also have the mask, but I really love this one. I've been using it for about a couple of weeks and it's pretty good. This is the newest one. This is the Essence Lotion. And it's kind of really just, you know, the gel kind of toner. And to apply it, I just pack it on. Which is the Korean way of putting on essence. I'm using the Origins Original Skin Renewal Serum. It has a really nice thin texture. I like this line because it's okay underneath the makeup. It's very lightweight, doesn't feel like anything. So that's the skincare. Hmm. What foundation am I going to use today? I am going to try the Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundation. This is a pretty new one. It, it's a super sheer kind of foundation. Oh my god. Where's my palette? There it is. Give it a shake. Put on my Monde palette. And you'll see how wet it really is. I'm just using the one from Charm. I like it. It works. It's not fancy. But it does the job. Always a good thing. So you'll see that it actually barely has any coverage. This shade was chosen for me by Makeup Forever, by the Makeup Forever team here in the Philippines. So I wouldn't say it's super exact. It's a bit light um, upon first application. Pero nanang okay naman. Ni naman sobrang light. I mean, manam shadow coverage anyway. Ayan. So there, it's very easy. It's actually almost dry, pretty much dry at this point. For concealer, I'm actually really loving the MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer. I bought this, tapos hindi ko siya ginamit for a year and a half or so. Tapos ngayon ko siya ulit ginagamit and sobrang nice. So again, I'll put it on my palette para hindi masayang yung product. Kasi when you put it on the back of your hand, it's quicker. Pero sayang. Lalo yung mga gantong sobrang mabilis matiyo na concealer. I'm not, I'm gonna be slapdash at this point. I'm not gonna be super precise about my concealer. Because I'm just really, I just really need to leave. So, one pump, normally, enough na siya for my whole face. So, konti lang. Little goes a long way. Sobrang ganda ng coverage nito and it really stays on. Uh, Singsot ko daw pag nagkatanis ako. Ma make sure lang na i-blend it super quickly kasi mabilis siyang matayo. That's it for the concealer and the liquid foundation. So I'm just gonna set um, my whole face with powder. Lately, gusto, gusto ko talaga itong Catrice All Matte um, Plus. 230 or 240 pesos lang siya pero sobrang Nice nya siyo, so brang gamit nasa. So I'm gonna use a Morphe M402 brush. It's actually supposed to be a contour brush, pero ang laki nga di ba? Parang contour mo gantong buo, so medyo weird siya for that. Pero it's a great powder brush. Ayan, di ba? Good na. So at this point, it's usually when I start putting on my. This is usually when I start putting on my lip balm. So I like clear lip balm. Kasi mga lipstick naman ako mamaya. Pero since medyo weird na ang pale ng lips ko right now, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Bare Pink Extra Lip Tint. Kitcha. I like this kasi it leaves a really nice tint. Hindi masyadong pigmented. Pero tama lang. Again. I normally let my lip balm sink in for a while. 
para hindi masyadong dry yung lipsticks when I layer it on top. I'm just gonna let that settle. Then I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Currently, I actually <laughs> forgot I had this. I'm using the Kanebo pencil eyebrow. So it's um it's an automatic pencil with a really nice plush, uh, what do you call this? Spoolie brush. And it's so, it's just so good. This one is actually not coming out until uh, maybe next year in the Philippines. Oh my God, ganun sila ka-advance mag-announce ng bagong releases. You know naman how the Japanese are. Pero, yun. Um, next year pa siya lalabas sa Pilipinas. So I can't really like say, buy this now and get it. Pero, you know, you can wait for it. In Japan, it's coming out in October pa. Kasi, Kanembo is, has just rebranded. And they're actually pulling out Lunasol, which makes me so sad. I mean, I love Lunasol, honestly. But I guess this is, I can just think of it as a more improved Lunasol. Because the price point is pretty much the same anyway. So, actually, since sobrang ganda na, hindi na ako mag-layer ng ibang products, okay na siya by itself. And for someone who is as arte with Kilay as I am, that's pretty good proposition. So I think that's my eyebrows for right now. My current eyeshadow primer is the one from the MAC Prep and Prime Lines, a 24-hour extend base. So I'm just gonna... Ay! Dami eh. Oh my god, sayang. Yung tube niya, sobrang daling sumawa. As in, I'm gonna wipe that off on my aluminum palette. So useful. Just patting it on. Okay. I like this kasi kumakapit talaga yung may shadow when I use it. Actually, it reminds me of the Urban Decay Primer Fusion. Wala siyang tint or anything. It's just very nice and smoothing. So I'm using the Holika Holika Personal Eyes Palette. I think this is new. Ganda ng colors. It's um, mga pinks and rose golds. And um, may matte, may shimmer. Ang ganda. Uh, I'm gonna apply it with my Morphe E14 brush. So I really like Morphe. If you're curious about it, you can check it out at btmnl.com. So what am I gonna use for today? I'm gonna use this pink one because it's so nice and shimmery. I think shimmer eyeshadow is really nice no matter what your age is. It's just a matter of perspective and, you know, not giving a shit about what other people think. I mean, I'm 28. First time ko gamitin tong palette na to. Pero, ang ganda ng shimmer, hindi siya yung malalaking shimmer. Parang bobby brown, actually. Twinkly na effect. I think I'm gonna use this matte one on my crease. This Baron Rosy matte. I'm just gonna use the same brush. This Morphe brush is pretty nice kasi it can function for your crease, um, brow bone. It's just a really nice overall brush. I'm not gonna do a deep uh, smoky eye right now kasi nandun na si James. So late na ako. May time pa ba ako mag liner Oh my god. Curl na tayo yung lashes bago tayo mag -tiny. Best eyelash curler in the world. Since I'm wearing a pretty light eye, I think I'm gonna go with brown eyeliner this time. I'm using this one from Brow House. Yes, guys. Brow House has eyeliner. Oh my god. Maganda siya. I've been using it for a while, and it's really pigmented, and it's really makapit. To be honest, it's hard to hold a conversation while doing liquid eyeliner. Diba? Diba? Oh, so this is a pretty good eyeliner. It's uh, very highly water resistant. And they shall apply as I need to assume brush. Maybelline false ah sorry, Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Actually, no una ko tong na try 
And in my review, you'll read na hindi ko siya masyadong trip. But it turns out, it's one of those mascaras na kailangan mo patayuin ng konti. Meaning, after like a month or a few weeks of using it, tas medyo natutuyo na siya. Mas maganda siya because mas okay yung volume. Tsaka length. It's one of those things, really. And I do like this because it's easy to remove. Or is it? Oh my god. I have to check my review. Parang ko na maalala. It's so hard to remember what I wrote sometimes. I mean, tao lang po. Project Vanity has about mm, 3,000, 3,500 articles now. It's hard to remember everything after 8 years. I'm gonna try something new. This is the Maybelline B V face duo stick so it has a contour and it has a highlighter and so first time ko rin siya gamitin I hope it doesn't look bad pero hindi naman siguro diba? so I'm just applying that actually mga kasing laki siya ng lipstick so applying that there medyo warm siya I'm not sure about this for contour Pero sige, push na rin natin. Andiyan na eh. Diba? Okay. So I'm just blending that. Wow, it's pretty easy to blend actually. Pero hindi siya masyadong dark. It's a very warm contour. Medyo may pagka orange siya. Pero hindi naman sobrang orange. Add more. And, it has a powdery finish. So, hindi siya basa-basa. And, highlighter. Nagpo-focus na ba? Oh! It's pretty nice. So, I'm just gonna blend that with the brush. Medyo wala na akong time to fix all of this. I'm gonna block my lips. It's called Rebellious Rose. And I like the color kasi. Ayan. I love it. I'm not going blush pa ka, actually. I use the NYX um, Intuition HD blush. I love the color. It's like um, the Benefit uh, Rocket Tour blush. Pero mas mura. <laughs> by a mile. So this is nice. So that's my look. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. You know, I decided I just really have fun with YouTube instead of stressing out so much about it. Please, please do subscribe to Project Vanity Beauty here on YouTube and of course read projectvanity.com for more tips and tutorials. Thank you so much and hope to see you soon. Bye!